Hello there. <clears throat> Excuse me. Welcome to Sports Talk with Lee. And uh, today I'm talking about the Michigan football game against Utah the other day. Uh, I went and saw it at Buffalo Wild Wings. And normally I would do a pregame video about my predictions and the way I see things unfolding. However, with this game, because it was a new system, I wasn't familiar with Jake uh, Ruddick, Rudock. Uh, I wasn't really familiar with you know, him um, out of Iowa. So it just didn't seem like something I felt qualified to do. So I decided not to do it. And after the loss, uh, I wasn't really that upset, actually. I, I didn't expect them to win. I was hoping for it, but I did not expect it. <clears throat> Excuse me again. Hang on. Just one second. Now, that doesn't mean I wasn't a little disappointed, but I wasn't freaking out like the rest of the people at Buffalo, Buffalo Wild Wings. Uh, luckily, I was sitting next to somebody who was a pretty level-headed, educated fan. Uh, I think he was in his late 30s, 40s somewhere. And uh, he and I actually had a pretty good conversation about, you know, Michigan football and some of our, our memories and stuff like that. But anyways, I went and saw the game at Buffalo Wild Wings. I couldn't hear the commentary, so I can't say anything about, you know, that uh and you guys probably know it's hard when you are at a loud venue and you're trying you can't really it's hard to focus on the statistics of it and so i decided to go back and look at this the other day <clears throat> and see how close statistically it was now watching the game if the game did not actually feel as close as the statistics would make you believe it was now Michigan played on defense very well. In fact, I thought the there was only a couple times where things weren't clicking. One of them was, I believe, in the third or fourth quarter where they just looked real tired. And uh, the offense on the next drive went and drove down the field. And the next time the defense was out there, it seemed like they were better. You know, they were rested enough that they were able to, you know, get back and rock and roll, you know. And uh, the offense didn't look that bad, in my opinion. Now, the offensive line, maybe a little undersized, struggled to get some push up front, especially in the run game. Uh, they did get, there were a few holes that Smith could have cut back to at times. A um, couple of them that people have talked about were a little questionable, almost like, you know, maybe he could have done something with, but maybe not. Um, point is, there was, there was some yardage left on the field in the run game. Uh, but the offensive line needs to do better. The quarterback play. Now, there was a guy behind me at Buffalo Wild Wings. Within the first the first interception, he was yelling, oh, throw, you know, get Shane Morris in there. Uh, on the overthrown balls, you know, I heard uh, him call the guy Denard 2.0 or something like that, and, you know, all sorts of stuff like that. So, anyways little bit of an overreaction in my opinion yes th the game could have been completely different you know we didn't get up get the breaks but it was the first time under this coach we're coming off of a really bad season really bad i mean think about it a team coming from what five win i think we had five wins last year come on what do you expect you know i've told people that i only expect six or seven wins this year I i'm really leaning more towards the six uh, hoping for a lot more, obviously. But looking at the schedule, trying to be realistic about it all, I see six wins. Um, and, you know, that's just based on how good we were last year, you know. So the quarterback play. He overthrew a couple couple passes. The one where it was out the back of the end zone where the receiver had eight yards on the DB, all he had to do was throw it within a, a an area. He didn't have to throw it at the guy's numbers. You know, and he threw it out the back of the end zone. That was really sad. Uh, the interception, the first one, people said, oh, it was a bad receiver route. I don't know if it was a bad receiver route. If the quarterback thought the re receiver was running a different route or if he's just completely inaccurate. I don't know. Um, as for the, the one interception where I believe he overthrew um, the receiver, that was on him. And then the one where he eyed the receiver in the flat, pick six that was on him so two i will say for sure two interceptions were on our quarterback 
uh, there were some plays where he stood there in, in the pocket and took hits and threw it at the last second, and they were incomplete, but he had nowhere else to throw it in that moment. And I thought those were good plays. You know, he wasn't trying to force anything all the time. But he did try to force quite a bit. Now, that does scare me in the long term. However, he is a senior. It's a one-year deal, and uh, he's he's gone. But, you know, I, I, I really think, especially from Harbaugh's history, by the end of the year, the quarterback play will be much improved. And that, as a whole, will make the offense a lot better. So the positives. Jake Butt was amazing. You know, that guy's got, you know, amazing hands. He gets open. He, you know, he is good. He fights for the ball. Jabril Pepper seemed like he was all over the field. Um, you know, you'd have receivers coming down to block him on a, a screen pass or, you know, a little out, and he'd get right by a deep uh, receiver and, you know, make the hit. I mean, he might not actually make the tackle, but he'd get he'd get there. You know, or funnel a guy into another guy. <clears throat> the front seven play was was solid. It wasn't great, but it was solid. We held their running back, who was really good, uh, to I believe under a hundred yards. Um, in fact, I'm looking right now. Yeah, we held him to 69 yards. So that was good. Uh, statistically, their quarterback looked great, and I don't think he's that great. Um, but yeah. So the turnover, turnovers killed us. On top of that, in the end, like, you know, I feel like last year you would have saw the team kind of give up. And they fought that whole game, you know. And besides the time that defense got real tired, you know, they were they were fighting for it. So that was a good thing. But, you know, you kind of expect that your first game under a new head coach. You know, your guys are going to try their best and work hard. So, <clears throat> you know. But anyways... Uh, I'm going to look right now to see if I can pull up their game next week, um, which I do think they will win. So I just want to get that out there. Yeah, Oregon State. I, I think they'll beat Oregon State. Um, you know, we'll see what happens. Then they go to UNL, or then they play UNLV at home also. So those are two home games. And then BYU at home. So three home games. Uh, two noon games and a to be determined against BYU, and it's possible they could be three and one at the end of that, and it's possible they could be two and two in my opinion. So looking at their schedule, uh, they lost to Utah. I think they'll beat Oregon State. I think they'll beat UNLV. I think they'll beat BYU. Maryland, I think will beat. Uh, Northwestern, I'll, I'll just for the heck of it, I'll count it as a loss. But I think that could go either way. Actually, yeah, uh, MSU, I think, will be MSU. Minnesota could go either way. I'll count that as a win. Rutgers is a win, so they're six. Indiana, I would say a win. We're at seven. Penn State and OSU, I think, could be losses. So that's my thoughts. Could be seven wins. Could be six wins. You know, I was talking to someone the other day, and they said Maryland could be an either or. I don't know. I, I think Northwestern's probably better than Maryland. I think Minnesota's better than Maryland. So those are my thoughts. I'd love to hear yours. I'm, you know, I'm just, you know, a sports guy trying to, you know, predict the future. And I, you know, you can't do that. But um, so you guys know, Oregon State is actually favored by 14 as of right now as well. So I think Michigan will win. But I can see it going either way. So anyways, with that, I hope you enjoyed this. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, uh, share this with your friends. If you agree, let me know below. If you disagree, again, let me know. I want to hear your thoughts. Uh, the last time I did a Michigan football video, it got a lot of views. So anyways, with that, I'll talk to you guys next time. Go Blue.